What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, it seems like undefeated three division world champion, superstar boxer Javante Tank Davis, who is 25 wins, no losses, no draws, 24 wins by way of knockout, 26 years of age, stands at five foot five with a 67 inch arm reach. He'll be taking on uh, undefeated WBA interim champion. Rolando Roly Romero, who has 14 wins, no losses, no draws, 12 wins by way of knockout. This is scheduled to take place um, in Los Angeles, California, December 5th. It's a Sunday. With that said, they held the press conference. And when they held the press conference, Rolando Roly Romero, who is also promoted by, he's also promoted by uh, legendary retired Hall of Fame, iconic superstar boxer, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Uh, and Mayweather Promotions. They're both signed and they're both under the same promotional banner, okay? So with that said, uh, at the press conference, R Roly Rolando Romero, he stated that Floyd Mayweather is going to have to make a choice. He's going to have to choose a side and which side uh, he's going to lean to because he can't play the fence, right? Floyd Mayweather, he stated that both were obviously uh, young, promising futures, they both signed the Mayweather promotions. And after Javante Tank Davis, he beat uh, former WBA regular champion, uh, Mexican superstar boxer Mario Barrios when he dared to be great. And he moved up to junior welterweight, 140 pound division. And uh, he knocked out Mario Barrios in the 11th round of their fight. Uh, Floyd Mayweather was asked, what's the next move for Javante Tank Davis? Obviously, Javante Tank Davis is a pay-per-view star. Javante Tank Davis is a superstar within the sport of boxing. So everybody is inquiring and everybody wants to see what's next, right? The sport of boxing is, uh, you know, before you even finish uh, what you have, the task that you have in front of you, everybody wants to know what's next, right? So when it comes down to this Javante Tank Davis, everybody wants to see what's next for Javante Tank Davis. So Floyd Mayweather, he stated that he's going to keep it in-house, okay? Uh, he made it abundantly clear that Javante Tank Davis' next fight was going to be in house, a clear indication that Rolando Roley Romero could possibly be uh, the next option for Javante Tank Davis. And uh, Roley Romero, he's been talking his way. So, you know, um, Roley Romero, he's been calling out Javante Tank Davis for quite some time, uh, looking to get a fight with Javante Tank Davis. And at the press conference, uh, Javante Tank Davis, he made it clear. He said this dude talked his way into this fight. Floyd Mayweather even stated uh, Roley Romero talked his way into this fight. Then he went to correct himself and he stated that, um, well, no, he didn't He didn't talk his way into this fight. He earned his way into the fight where we all know Rolando Roley Romero did not earn his way into a fight with Javante Tank Davis, a pay-per-view fight at that. Uh, he hasn't had any marquee fights, any marquee names, and he's never fought for a major world title. Now, I know people will say, well, Javante Tank Davis, he fought for, you know, regular titles against uh, uh, Mario Barrios and um, a regular title when he fought against uh, Cuban star Olympic gold medalist, three division world champion, Yuriokis Gamboa. That was for a regular vacant title as well. Uh, and so, but the difference is at 130, Javante Tank Davis has been, you know, uh, a super champion at WBA. He's, you know, he's held major world titles. Okay. Uh, so Rolando Roley Romero, he did indeed talk his way into this fight and it was convenient for Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather promotions, because, um, you have, you know, uh, you have a, um, a guy who's in-house, okay? So it's, you keep everything in-house, and it's abundantly clear that was the case here. With that said, again, Roley, he stated that Floyd Mayweather is going to have him make a choice. Now, we know the clear A side here is Javante Tank Davis, okay? Uh, so is there? it's not really difficult for Floyd Mayweather to make a choice. Now, obviously, seeing as though both guys are signed to Floyd Mayweather, seeing as though you know, uh, he, he gets a percentage of both guys, uh, uh, um, purses, you know, he has to play the fence. Um, but he and Javante Tank Davis has always had some tension. There's always been some underlying tension between Floyd Mayweather and Javante Tank Davis. At one point in time, you know, Javante Tank Davis even seemed like he was looking to part ways for Mayweather promotions. Uh, at one point in time, Floyd Mayweather, he even, uh, used three division world champion, Olympic two-time gold medalist, former unified lightweight world champion, superstar boxer Vasil Hightech Lomachenko as a 
uh, the pawn to say that, you know, uh, Javante Tank Davis uh, is not acting accordingly. He's going to put him in the ring with Vasil Lomachenko, you know, using Lomachenko as a, uh, a, a sort of, a, in a sense, a punishment, right, for Javante Tank Davis. So with that said, you know, there's always been some, you know, sort of underlying, uh, uh, you know, um, issues there. So Javante Tank Davis, he takes the social media and he puts out a cryptic message and he says, I see you chose a side. Right. Uh, clearly, the uh, attention was surrounded by these both of these guys being surround, uh, uh, signed to Mayweather Promotions. And the fact that Roley said and made a big statement, made it a big thing that Floyd Mayweather had to choose a side. And so Floyd Mayweather is saying and, you know, Floyd Mayweather obviously is never going to publicly say he's choosing a side. But Javante Tank Davis is saying, I see you have chosen a side. OK, Uh now, obviously, he didn't uh, uh, mention Floyd Mayweather. He didn't at Floyd Mayweather or make it direct to Floyd Mayweather, as most people don't do these days, okay? We take indirect messages, indirect routes, uh, and we put out these cryptic messages. But for the most part, you can understand and uh, you can pretty much make out who you're talking about, okay? Uh, but I'm hard-pressed to see Floyd Mayweather choosing the side of Rolando Roley Romero, seeing as though, uh, no slight to him, but his skill set is just not at the level of Javante Tank Davis, uh, it feels like to me that, uh, Rolando Roley Romero, you know, um, is, uh, you know, novice when you compare him to, uh, Javante Tank Davis and his skill set. Uh, he has a lot to learn. He's very unorthodox. Uh, he does have power, right? Uh, 14 fights, 12 knockouts. So he has power, but these are not marquee fights. And there's some questionable wins on his resume. As some people thought that he lost the, uh, a few fights on his resume. So with that said, you know, uh, he got the fight anyway, but I'm hard pressed to see Floyd Mayweather choose the side of Rolando Roley Romero. Uh, maybe, uh, Javante Tank Davis and his loyalty don't like the fact that Floyd Mayweather is playing the fence, but it's understandable. Or maybe he's just simply talking to Mayweather promotion CEO, Lenny Ellaby. Okay. Well, Lenny Ellaby is one of Javante Tank Davis's biggest fans. Okay. He lets that be known, uh, point blank and period. We know it's a business and we know he has to, um, obviously, um, promote and big up Javante Tank Davis, but he makes it abundantly clear what side of the fence he stands on, right? Uh, but he did say at the fight that, you know, uh, Roley Romero, he informed Mayweather Promotions that uh, he was going to uh, dominate Javante Tank Davis. He was going to knock out Javante Tank Davis. So, you know, um, obviously they have to big up the fight. They have to make it interesting for the fans, okay? They can't just, you know, uh, play the fence, play one-sided, because we all know that it's one-sided affair. Now, uh, Roley Romero, he don't know it's a one-sided affair, right? Roley Romero, he is uh, fully on board and fully confident and fully uh, in the belief that he could beat Javante Tank Davis, okay? Uh, he is five foot eight. Uh, he does have a 70-inch arm reach, you know, so, uh, you know, a 69-inch arm reach. So he's he's two inches taller than, two to three inches taller than Javante Tank Davis. He has a, a inch or two arm reach advantage over Javante Tank Davis. But Javante Tank Davis, by far, is the better boxer by far it's not even close okay bar none okay uh he has a higher ring iq uh he's a cleaner boxer meaning he's more disciplined he puts his punches together uh far better than roley romero uh he has a, a very high ring iq top three if not the highest ring iq in the sport of boxing uh a lot of people call vasil high tech lomachenko the matrix and say he's you know the greatest thing since sliced bread and he has a high ring iq and you know, uh, they was calling him Nomas uh, Chenko, you know, at one point when he was making all his opponents quit on the stool, you know, and people say that he has a high ring IQ, high, highest ring IQ, one of the smartest boxes in boxing. Well, I beg to differ. I think that Javante Tank Davis can match every bit of Vasil Lomachenko's ring IQ, every single bit of it, okay? I believe that uh, um, Javante Tank Davis sets up his knockouts. A lot of people get an, enamored with his, his power, I, obviously. And rightfully so, right? Uh, he's very exciting. He's a southpaw. 
Uh, that's another issue that's going to be for Rolando Roly Romero, uh, the southpaw stance. He's going to open himself wide open for Javante Tank Davis to land big, clean punches. Uh, he's going to change levels on Roly Rolando Romero. Uh, he's going to land combinations on him. It's going to be a beautiful outing and a beautiful night for Javante Tank Davis. This is no slight to uh, Roly Romero, but I've been in, the, in and around the sport of boxing for quite a period of time. And uh, styles make fights, okay? And Javante Tank Davis' style is completely wrong for Rolando Roly Romero. All wrong for him, okay? Uh, and so I think that Javante Tank Davis has one of the highest, if not the highest, ring IQ in the sport of boxing, okay? Uh, and so I believe that that's going to play a major part. Uh, I believe that his power is going to play a major part. Uh, Roly Romero's his uh, 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 you know his his tendencies to be very very sloppy, be very wide open. That's going to play a major part. And I just see Javante Tank Davis dominating this fight uh, and getting a highlight real knockout. But like I stated, you know uh, I'm hard pressed to see that he's talking about Leonard Ellaby, uh, possibly. Floyd Mayweather don't know what happens behind the scenes, but like I said, there's always been some underlying tension there between the two. And uh, you can see Javante Tank Davis is back training uh, um, in the DMV. He's from Baltimore. Uh, he's with Barry Hunter, uh, with uh, Coach Boogs. You know, um, um, you know, he's back with his coaches in the DMV area and training over there. Okay, uh, he's always been with Coach Calvin, so he's never left Coach Calvin. But at one point in time, he was training and Las Vegas with Floyd Mayweather. But obviously, Roly Romero, he trains at Mayweather Gym as well. So maybe that's the issue where he says that, you know, I see you chose a side. Maybe they're allowing uh, Rolando Roly Romero to train at the gym, and now he can't train at the gym. So we got to see how this plays out. But with that said, December 5th is going down. That's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All in one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Raw. Make sure you like and share the videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Yo, it is your boy Jaden Kiss. Make sure you check out Blue Blood Sports TV. It's going down.